What's up, YouTube fans? It is time for another Vapetastic Voyage with your boy, Mr. B. Tonight, I am going to go over the Clone 49 26650 Brass Mechanical Mod from AngelSigs.com. Beefy as shit. Nice logo on the bottom. And you know, sometimes you gotta put the fat daddy with the skinny lady. So I put the Derringer on top just to be funny. We're gonna drop down low, take a look at this. It'll be a quick video, not much to it. But I'm just gonna talk about it and tell you uh, if I like it or not. And uh, tell you the price that I paid for it. Because that is the most important part of this review. All right, people, we are down low with the AngelSigs.com 4926650 Mechanical Mod Clone. You have your simple box here, which actually is kind of nice for a clone. You hardly ever see that. Very simple, but who gives a shit? It's nice. Nothing else inside but your mod here. 26650 battery size. All right, you have this is this one is made out of solid brass. The height is 87 millimeters tall. The width is 31 millimeters wide, and it weighs 162 grams. Okay, like I said, it houses one 26650 uh, IMR battery. It is 510 threaded on a hybrid cap here. So make sure you put nothing on here except something with a protruding uh, protruding 510 pin. You want to make sure that you can completely see the pin above that level there. Okay. You have insulated Delrin top for your positive not to touch your brass. Um, pretty much solid brass construction. Um, no center pin inside here. Like I said, it's a hybrid cap. Um, your Addy connects straight to the positive of your battery. It does have stainless steel contacts in the bottom there. And it is a magnetic firing switch. Um, that is not telescopic. It's just where the rings go. Um, the threads on this thing are like butter. Comes apart in a bunch. Of, uh, that's a solid piece. There's your bottom there with your serial number on your 4.9 uh, lemur. Looking pretty good. Super etched in there. It's a nice pin. Serial numbers here 787. Pop that out of there just like that. It only goes in through the bottom. That is heavy as shit for a firing button. Um, this is not how your magnets go. You flip this one upside down. This attaches to your battery. Let me grab that. So here's your battery here. Your battery is going to connect like that on the bottom of it with the little brass disc magnetic to your bottom and they fight each other. They don't want to stick together. So that's how it goes in. Finger that straight up. And your battery floats when you're firing button super buttery that's pretty damn amazing for a clone completely gone seamless nothing there nothing can't even see it There's a little bit of pain in the ass to get that to go back in the bottom and sit in there. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's simple. It's fucking pretty. It's beautiful, people. And you do have your two vent holes here. And, um, it would possibly vent from... Actually, you know what? It does have... Hang on. There is a vent hole in the bottom. Right there. Going through the lemur. I forgot about that. 
So there you go, man. Angelsigs.com's uh, Brass 4926-650 clone. Um, that's pretty much it for the up top. And uh, I'm going to drop back down low, tell you about it, its price. And um, obviously you can get it from Angelsigs.com. So we'll be right back in just a minute up top. I'm going to take a couple hits off of it and uh, tell you about it. We are back up top with the Angelsigs.com's 4.9 brass clone in 26.650 size. Um, dude, I love the way this looks. It's machined well. It's beautiful. There's no flaws in it that I see at all. I'm going to tell you how much I paid for this, okay? Shipping was five bucks. The mechanical mob was six dollars and sixty-nine cents right now on angelsigs.com. You can get it in brass or you can get it in stainless steel. For less than seven bucks, you can have this. I'm telling you, it's great for what I paid for it. There's nothing wrong with it at all. It comes in that nice little box, whether it's got anything on it or not, besides a couple little mod names and you know, recycling shit and CE and SGS shit on the box. Who gives a shit? Um, it hits awesome. And I paid 11 bucks to ship it and got it in three days. Three days. It's just great. Nice size, fits perfect in your hand. It almost disappears. Um, it does have a little bit of rattle with the battery in there. Um, and the 510 is super protruding on a Derringer. It's made to be on a hybrid cap, which is on the Praxis. Um, but I think that's actually like the magnet fighting itself with the reverse polarity down there on the magnets. So, uh, I don't think that's really anything out of the ordinary, but I mean, dude, it's beautiful. It looks great. Seven bucks, not even seven bucks for the product and five dollars to ship it. First class USPS got it in, shit, I ordered it like, when did I get this? I got it Friday and I ordered it Tuesday during the day. So not not even three days. But uh, it hits like a champ. I got a .3 build in my Derringer there. Got a uh, 2.8 wrap 24 gauge around the 332nd bit. That's <laughs> just funny the way I have it on there. It's nice. It's like a little castle. It's perfect. So there you go, people. Angelsigs.com clone 4926650 in solid brass. Um, go grab yourself one of these. I mean, what the hell are you missing out on with $11? Like, you can throw $11 in the street and pretty much forget about it unless you're broke as shit like me. But this was a good buy. I looked at the pictures. The pictures look great. They have a great reputation on their website. Their shit is legit. Um, I already placed two more orders that I'm waiting on um, yesterday and the day before for stuff. I like this so much. And you can get almost anything on their website, mechanical mod or RDA, for under 15 bucks. Most of them are like $10. I mean, you can't beat that shit. So go check it out. Um, great buy. Enough said. Y'all stay classy on the other side of the looking glass there. And um, Mr. B and the 4926650 Brass Mechanical Mod from AngelSigs.com. We are out till next time. Tomorrow I will be doing another video. Uh, I believe it will be on the um, the Ude uh, Goblin version 1.2. Yeah, I know it's old, but I'm going to go over it. I just bought it. I liked it. And I'm going to break it down. It's sleek and sexy, and we'll talk about that then. Um, like I said in the last couple of videos, look forward to seeing you all at the AVE 2016 Vape Expo at Timonium Fairgrounds this Saturday, April 23rd. I will be rocking my t-shirt. I will be checking out booths. I will be checking out and talking and chilling with people and uh, associating with the uh, vendors that I currently do reviews for. It'll be a good-ass time. Come on out. 
10 bucks online at uh, AmericanVapeExpo.com or at the door, 15 bucks for you. I believe it starts at 10 a.m. or 12 a.m. Go on the website and look. I'm not sure, but check it out. We'll see you later. Mr. B and the 4-9 are out.